In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily change colors in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along, I've left a download link for this image in the video description. Let's start off by selecting what we want to change. In this case, I want to select and change this blue denim jacket. So I'm going to grab the Selection Brush Tool. Then I'm going to use the bracket keys on my keyboard to make the brush bigger and smaller. And I'll click and drag to make my selection. Now there are a few shortcuts that can help you as you're making the selection. The first shortcut is to use the bracket keys to change the size and get into the small areas to make your selection. The other shortcut is if you ever select too much, you can hold down Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, and then you can click and drag to remove from your selection. So I'm just going to continue to make this selection until I have everything selected. Okay, with that done, I'm just going to go up to the top to the context toolbar and I'll press Refine. All right, then I'll just press Apply and we have a great selection of our jacket. To change the color, I'm going to go to our adjustments and I'll apply an HSL adjustment. Now we can shift this hue slider around and you can see that it only affects the jacket. I'm going to change this to a red color and then I'll lower the saturation so that this looks more realistic. And now that we've done that, we can deselect. So go ahead and press Ctrl D on a PC or Command D on a Mac to deselect. Okay, this looks pretty good, but I do want to zoom in here to show you one little problem. A lot of the times when you change the color to a very different color, you might see fringing left behind of the original color. This can look pretty obvious that you changed the color, so here's how I would fix it if this happens. First, add a new pixel layer. We're going to paint on top of this, and I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to color. Then I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool and I'm going to select a color of the jacket. So this red color right here should work. I'll apply this to my paintbrush and then using a nice small brush and a nice low flow and 0% hardness, I'm just going to paint on the edge and you can see that this adds the red color to that fringing so that you no longer can see the blue. This is a little bit tedious, but I promise it's worth it to get rid of that fringing. So go ahead and continue this painting all the way around the jacket. Now that I'm at the top, I can see some blue peeking through the shadows. So I'm just going to paint over that whole area to change that color. Luckily, because she has black hair, this makes it very easy to paint over the area a little bit messily. And you can do that on this side of her as well. Normally it doesn't look that great to paint directly on top of something like this, but because we changed the blend mode to color, all we're really doing is just changing the color of whatever we're painting on top of. It doesn't remove any texture or make it look bad. Okay, so I just finished my painting, so I want to show you the before and the after. And I can zoom in to show you even better, before and after. I just think that looks so much better. Now, because we did paint this custom red color on the jacket, it does make it a little tricky if you do want to change the color afterward, but I'll just quickly show you how I would do that. First, I'll change the color of the HSL adjustment. This time, I'll switch it to a green color. That way you can really see the red painting we did. And then I'm going to apply an HSL adjustment to this pixel layer. 
I'll set it as a child layer so it only affects what we painted. And then I'm just going to change the hue until we get a green color that looks similar to our jacket. And then I'll desaturate it to match. And now you can see how nicely that blends in. Now you know how to easily change colors in Affinity Photo. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.